and welcome to Beads Jar. My name is Billy, and today I'll be showing you how you can make this Osun Duo bracelet using the Gem Duo beads and also some size 15 Mayukis. I'll be demonstrating how you make your beaded attachment as well. For our project today, we'll be threading onto our fire line from Beadsmith. I've used the crystal colour, but you can use black if you prefer, if you think that will disappear more. We have our Mayuki size 15 silver beads. We've got the new gem duos in this fabulous bright turquoise and this electric blue. I've got a little blue bead, which is an 8mm, so any 8mm bead that you want which will work with the colours for the fastening. My precision scissors and some size 10 beading needles. Start by cutting a metre and a half of your fire line and threading that onto a size 10 beading needle. We're going to pick up our starter bead, which will also be our fastener, but for now we're just going to use it as a starter bead. So you're going to go through with your beading needle. And I'm taking that down my thread, but I'm going to leave a 15 centimetre tail of the thread for finishing off when we come back to this side. So we've put the bead on and we're going to go back through the bead using the needle and this will stop our bead moving along the thread. So it just loops round and this will actually come off again at the end of the project but it just gives you a visual starting point for this project. So we've got our bead on and then I'm going to pick up seven of my Mayuki seed beads. So I've put my seven beads onto my needle and we're just going to take them down the thread to the starting bead that we put on, like so. The main colour in this bracelet is going to be the dark blue gem duo. So this is going to run through the centre of our bracelet and then either side we're going to have these lovely turquoise. So you're just going to start by threading your first gem duo. So you just want to go through the gem duo. To the starting bead. At first this can be a bit confusing because they don't sit exactly how we want them but that will very quickly change as you will see. So I've gone through the bead and out through the top and now I'm going to go back down the opposite hole of the gem duo. The next bead is the turquoise gem duo and as we're coming out of this hole on the dark blue we're going to go through the first hole in this turquoise and down if it flips around don't worry it'll sit correctly after we've pulled tightly on our fire line so it's just going to sit next to the blue I'll just move my finger so you can see how that's sitting for the time being and we're going to add three of the Mayuki seed beads so you pick up three with your beading needle and you're going to go back up the second hole in the turquoise gem duo so that we have our little Mayuki sort of frill effect underneath the turquoise. We will be adding another side of turquoise here as well with the same frill but that's on, as we come back on the second side. So for now we're going to keep going with that same weaving pattern. So I'm picking up the next dark blue for the middle so we're going to go through the bead
we don't pick up any Mayukas at this point and we're going to go back down and then we pick up our next turquoise gem duo. So you're going to go down. Don't forget to pick up your next three Mayukis on this section though. So there you want your three. Oops, jumping one. And up. And then your next blue. And you're going to continue this same weaving pattern until you have the length that you require for your bracelet. Now, just give yourself a centimetre and a half for the fastening length as well when you're deciding the overall length of your bracelet. So you're just going to keep going, as I say, until you've got the length. And you're going to go from there to the end of your bracelet. Remember, you've got one and a half centimetres for your fastener in this project as well. Okay. So we've come along and I've got the length required to go around my wrist with the allowance for the fastener as well at this side. And as you can see, that's starting to look really very nice with these gem duos. So at this point, I'm going to pick up and I'm going to pick up 30 of the seed beads onto the needle. So I've got my 30 on there and I'm going to come back and I need to find my fifth from the gem duo. So I want my fifth seed bead. And then we're going to take the needle back through that fifth bead from the gem duo. So we're just going through one bead on its own here. And you'll see we've got a loop of seed beads now, which is going to be the fastener that will loop over our bead here at the end to create our beaded fastener for the project. So we've gone through and now we need to pick up another four of the seed beads. So another four onto your beading needle. And you're going to go, whoops, I've just dropped them off, so make sure you've got your four still on the uh, needle there. And we're going to go back through that gem duo. And now I'm going to go around the whole entity again and back out through this same bead, same hole as well. So I'm just going to take that into my hand because I find it easier and I can check that I go all the way through the correct beads. So I'm just going to take it for a few at a time. So that's four, first four, up through that fifth one. And then all the way around the loop. So I've just done four, so I'm not missing any beads. And then I'm just working slowly around this loop. So I've come out there and I'm gonna go back through and out where we started the loop and on this side we're gonna hook through but just the blue gem hole so we're coming out and now we're gonna pick up our turquoise and do this side along the top if you want you can move the project round so it's more comfortable for you to work just always make sure that you're working comfortably and to the side that you feel happy with. You don't have to work so you're tying yourself in a knot 
So we're just going to add our next bead and don't forget to pick up your three seeds on there as well. So we've got our three seed beads and through this gem duo hole and the blue but not the turquoise underneath. So you're going to go through, pull that in and then we're taking that up through the second gem duo and you're picking up a next turquoise and so forth until we get to this end where we'll be finishing off that side of the fastener. Okay so we've come all the way back up the other side so it's given us that beautiful effect there with the gem duos and we are on to our last turquoise before we attach our fastener. So you're just doing the same again for this last one before that we go on to our fastener. So the three little Mayukis. And we're coming out next to the blue gem duo. And then we're gonna go back through and out of this side. Okay. I'm just going to turn that project round there and now we're going to add our beads. So we're going to add four of the seed beads here. And we're going to find the fifth one on this row that we started with. So I've just found the fifth seed bead on that side and now I'm going to go up through that seed bead and we are now next to our finishing bead here. Okay. So this thread has our beading needle on it and this has the starting bead. Now you just want to hold the starting bead and you're going to pull it across your string to take that off. So that's where we started our project. If you wish you can sellotape this one down so we've taken our starter bead off and I'm going to go up through those next two seed beads So we have our two threads coming out the same hole here and I'm going to thread the starting bead back on now. Drop that down and I'm going to pick up another three of the seed beads. Take them down the wire and then you're going to go back through the main bead so not the first three beads we've just put on. So we're going back through and then down three seed beads underneath. So we have the three here, but we've not gone back through them. Back through your main bead and down through the next three. And I'm pulling that to bring in those beads. We are. So this is my thread on this side with the needle and I'm going to go back down those four on that side. So back down the four seed beads and I'm going to tie one of my first knots here. So I'm going to go under the thread with my beading needle so my needle's actually blocked under the thread there. And as I come through, we'll be creating a small loop here with our fire line. And I'm going to go through with the beading needle and I'm going to pull a knot. So I've tightened a knot on the string. You can still see that a little bit, but once I've gone back through the gem duo and pulled that tight, that knot will slide and hide perfectly inside so we can no longer see it there. 
This other side will tighten up when we've got to the next step. So I've come out the opposite side of the Gem Duo and we're going to go back through and I'm coming out of those two beads. through my seeds on this one and then we're going to do our second knot here before going back through this gem duo. So I'm just going to go up, oops, do that again, I pulled it too quick. So I've got my loop through with your beading needle, pull your knot in and you're going to go down through your next beads. And then when you pull that tight, all the knot disappears into the bead. So I've done two on this side. I'm now going to take away my thread and I'm going to reattach my needle onto this top thread here. So take the thread as close as we can and the beading needle comes off and we're going to put that needle onto this thread side here. So I'm back with the needle and we'd come out next to that bead so I'm going to go back up through and it's also just gone through one of my little seed beads automatically which is fine. out there and I'm going to go around the beads and then we'll finish that off with the knots as well in the same way we just finished off the other side. Done my two knots, so now I'm just going to cut that excess off. And there we have the bracelet finished, and your lovely little fastener that just loops through the seed beads. To finish off this fabulous bracelet. Thank you for watching our tutorial today and we do hope you've enjoyed it. Give us a big like if you have and remember you can subscribe now to our YouTube channel to watch all of our latest creations. Until next time, bye!